if I were to do a Cliff's Notes version of my July, it would look like this. Uh, watch Stranger Things, not over it. I'm not okay with Eddie. I want to believe that, that this is not the end for him, but I, I don't know, but I'm not over it. I'm not over it. I've watched it about a thousand more times, not over it. My neighbor's house caught fire on the 4th of July. I'd only planned on taking a week off and then it turned into the whole month, which was due to illness and injury, which we'll circle back to, uh, weather not cooperating, and then not being able to a not being able to attend a troop that I had planned on filming and having that be a big part of one of the videos, and it didn't happen. Because of the injury and everything, I went to the chiropractor, found out that I had whiplash that I got a year ago. <laughs> and didn't know. Then we went on vacation. We went to Minnesota. We went to Great Wolf and Mall of America. And then we came home and then we got COVID. And then I got better. And then I went to Bath and Body Works. And that brings us to now. Was that okay? That, I, I feel like that was okay. I feel like that pretty much wraps it up, encompasses it. If you wanted to know how I got whiplash, I have video proof of how I got it. I'm the one on the right, if you wanted to know. Yeah. That was me. That was me and Ian. I'm pretty sure that's why I have hip injuries too. <laughs> That is the gift that keeps on giving. It's not just a funny video to watch and think, <laughs> youch. Uh, it is, it is in fact, probably the cause of my whiplash because I cannot think of anything else that I might've done in the recent past that would lead me to having not just the hip issues that I've been having, the tailbone issues that I've been having, but also apparently uh, the neck issues that I have that I didn't know about. It's a new month. We're gonna we're gonna hit the ground running. Josh and I were able to go to Bath and Body Works. They sent us coupons. This is not sponsored. This is just two weirdos that are excited about spooky season and we're ready to just hold on tight. This is what we were able to get from Bath and Body Works with a 20% off coupon, a uh, buy a body care item for $7 and then a free wick candle and then everything else like that. So let's go. Everything except for my body care item is all kind of spooky season inspired. So I actually went with the poppy smell or fragrance, whatever you want to call it. It smells so good. Poppy is one of my favorite flowers and I was going to get it no matter what, but I actually do really like the smell of it. Between that and gingham, those are my two favorite smells from Bath and Body Works, and I could just revel in them. One of the main reasons we had gone after looking online was we knew we wanted this. It is so freaking cute, and I can't handle it. And then when it lights up, there's a face. <laughs> which makes it better. But we've never actually purchased any oils from Bath and Body Works before. By the way, side note, does anybody else accidentally call it Bed Bath and Beyond? Anybody else? Just us? Hmm. Anyway, but we went with gingham. I told you it's one of my favorite smells. So we went with gingham. I got sweater weather, which is one of my favorite fall smells that they do. I also did pumpkin apple, pumpkin bonfire and then my absolute favorite pumpkin carving which is apparently a new fragrance but it is the most pumpkiny smelling pumpkin you are ever going to experience it doesn't have like additional smells like the apple or the bonfire or like maple pecan waffle pumpkin smell um it's just the most pure pumpkin smell that i have ever come across and i loved it so much i got a three wick candle We also had a coupon for a free one wick candle with purchase. So we ended up going with Ghoul Friend, which has kind of a peony smell to it. And it just smells good. 
Uh, we tried to find it in the oils and we couldn't find it. Maybe next time. Maybe when they actually get more of their fall smells out. Right now they don't really seem to have a lot. They have a few of the, like the spooky ones, but not all of their fall smells out in time. It, it is only August. <laughs> I gotta remind myself. It's still just August, but it does smell really, really nice. And I have not lit any of these yet. But who lit the black flame candle? Mm. I want this the records to show I have not lit these candles yet. And I say that because it's sort of like this unspoken contest between Josh and I as to who's going to light the candle first. And so far it has not been me, but I'm like this close to starting starting the candles. The pumpkin candle is a sacred thing in our house and to light it is to give in to fall. And I haven't given in yet. I want to, but I haven't yet. I also got this. This was kind of Josh's impulse purchase uh, where I think the three wick was kind of my thing because I was like, I'm gonna get this in a big candle. Uh, he found this and it fits the three wick candle, uh, but it also fits the three wick candles that are mainstay Walmart brand. In case you wanted to know. The main reason we had gone to Bath and Body Works was to get a candle holder for the three wick. So I guess this was inevitable. It was going to happen no matter what. But the three wick candle holder that we wanted was an eyeball and it rotates and it just was cool. And then we saw something else that just called our name. We needed it in our lives. Uh, if you don't like the music, that's fine. Where's the button? I love this so much, you guys. It's so stupid, but it also fits the candles really, really nicely. We tried to fit it with, to make it extra spooky, we tried to add this. It doesn't quite fit right, but that's okay. A regular candle is just fine too, but isn't this so cool? Oh my God, I love it so much. I just needed a little retail therapy and also a little bit of spookiness. I'm ready to bring on the spooky, the spooky vibes. I think that about wraps up my July and our and our good old fashioned Bath and Body Works haul. And here's to a better August, a less chaotic. And I guess on the on the note of chaos, I hope this made sense. I hope it wasn't too scatterbrained. I know I'm kind of I've I've got my own brand of chaos, but this felt like it was a little I was trying really hard to stay focused, but the vid got my brain. <laughs> anyway, happy August. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully it won't be a, you know in a month. <laughs> Who knows? And I will see you next time. Take it easy.